All right, y'all, real quick, not going to try to make this long, but today we're going to do a quick speed test on the whole shot. Yes, this is the vehicle everyone's talking about. Um, they have a stadium truck, which you see here. They also have a buggy and they have uh, two monster trucks. This is from JX, of course. Um, I'll put a link down below in the description. You guys go over there and check this out. I did get this off of eBay. Now, what makes this vehicle so interesting is that it's a brush two wheel drive stadium truck, but you can run two and three S LiPo on it. So let's go ahead and let's get this up. Let's see what we got inside. And looking in there, yeah, we got some of that new car smell right before Christmas. Um, so this comes um, almost ready to run, meaning that uh, the version that I got here, I'm pulling all this out real quick. Look at that up in there. Um, does not come with a lipo, but they did have a version that comes with a lipo and then one that comes with a nickel metal battery. But of course, this one right here does not. Um, and here's going to be, of course, the structure. Man, I'm not going to go through all of this with it, but this is actually a good value um, for whatever you pay for. It doesn't matter if you get it on sale or whatever because even at its regular price at 169 it's actually really good um this thing actually comes with let me take these body clips off of here real quick all right so let me get this off and show you guys why now it does only come with ball bearings in the transmission which is fine so you'll need ball bearings of course for the hubs and stuff like that for the tires and wheels for it but this is an actual two and three s speed controller and this is a 550 size motor that can handle 3S. So we're going to test this today. Um, but let me show you guys this. It does come with, and I'm not going to take this apart and show this to you guys, but it does come with metal internal gears in the transmission. But look at that. Dog bones there. It's very, very difficult to get a vehicle, especially a two-wheel drive stadium truck that's going to be under $200 to have features like that. Most stadium trucks are just about every single last one of the ones that I know of. They come with plastic um, back there. So you you have to upgrade or it's going to break. I mean, ECX has theirs, but those have to be upgraded. We start putting more power to it. You got the Traxxas Rustler, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But they all come with plastic. This one actually comes with dog bones back there, which is good. Uh, the one thing that I do know is that the gear ratio may be a little bit limited. And I'm not sure um, what this gear ratio is. We may take a quick look at that. But the setup for this is going to be pretty decent. Um, out the box. It does come with Dean's connectors and stuff on it. And I just want to get this out and get this running. Spike tires, these do look kind of like some of the um, HPI um, truck tires that they use on some of their HPI um, Firestorm trucks or um, possibly even on it's another brand too um, that use something similar. But these do have foam and stuff in them. They are a pin spike. And the compound feels good just to get you out and running. So I'm glad that they, there's another company out there kind of reproducing something like this. I think someone said the layout was similar to like some of the associated trucks, but regardless, it's still going to be good. Those gears inside the transmission are not 48 pitch. They are 32 pitch, which is good because it's going to be good for durability. And it's actually going to make it a little bit faster too um, with this. It may not run as smooth as a car. It's got 48 pitch gears in there, but this ought to do pretty good. And of course, this radio here, it's a popular, I guess I want to say cheap, but I don't want to say cheap like it doesn't function. Um, because Sin Racing uses this on a lot of their um, 250s and 450 trucks. And the newer one, the newer radios, at least from what I know of, actually um, perform pretty good. So this should be no exception to the rule. But for the price you pay for this, like I said, regardless of when you got it, how you got it, et cetera, et cetera, it's still a good value, even at its regular retail price. So I'm going to get some batteries charged up and we're going to take this out and we're going to just test it on 2S and 3S. And it's cold outside. It's like seven degrees so it's seven degrees so it's actually cold in georgia uh, it's gonna probably be about eight degrees or nine degrees when i get out there but i'm gonna test this on two and three s i'm gonna use some of my hobo uh lipos when i test this out there but i want to see how this performs i probably won't drive it's just too cold to be you know what i probably will drive it i ain't gonna lie. i'm probably gonna go over to one of the schools that i drive that i do some speed runs with and just test it out there in the grass because i won't plan on jumping in and stuff i mean it's so cold that anything would probably break if you start hitting and jumping and all that stuff. But let me get these batteries charged up and let's go ahead and show you guys this real quick. The undersides, I know some of you guys are asking um, with this. So you guys that under there, you're probably looking at it. Um, but let me go ahead and let me get some batteries charged up. And I'm, I'm just being kind of excited. I know it's close to Christmas and I was trying to wait to open this up and run it. But 
I, I couldn't wait. You know how it is. You got new RC cars in the house and I had to open one of them. <laughs> so anyway, let me get uh, some batteries charged up and let's go ahead and let's take this out for a quick speed test to see what we get. All right, y'all, it is cold out here, about 25 degrees, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this going and get this tested. Make sure this is uh, catching and it is. We're going to test it first on 2S and then we're going to test it on 3S. So. These ain't gonna be long tests because it's pretty cold out here. <laughs> That's not bad though for brushed. Make sure I get this in the camera. My hands are cold. Should have put some gloves on, but I got my winterized gloves and won't even be able to grab the radio with those gloves on. All right, let's see what we got real quick. And 27, that's not bad for brushed out the box. No gear changes or anything. So let's go ahead uh, and let's put a 3S light pole in and let's see what we get. All right, y'all, 3S light pole strapped in there. Did I mention that it's cold out here? Cause it's cold. So we got this, making sure that's catching, which it is. Let's go ahead. I love it when brush cars can run 3S LiPo. That is a decent cruising speed. Now remember, the thing about this car is that it is brushless ready and you don't have to upgrade the rear drive shafts, which I love. Other cars like the Rustler and the ECX and stuff, you're gonna have to eventually upgrade those drive shafts, especially when you go brushless. With this, you don't have to do it, which is good. And I lick my lips and they freezing, y'all. <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about with cold weather. Y'all know, know how that feeling is. But anyway, that's going good. This is actually going to be pretty good off-road. Right now, it's just too cold to go off-road with this. But anyway, let's see what we got with this. Hands are freezing up. Phone's freezing up. Stop. Read. 38 miles per hour. That's good. From 27 to 38, 11 miles per hour that is a good thing no gear changes or anything so anyway y'all that's gonna be a run of this one to get this out show this to you guys i'm definitely when the weather gets a little bit better in the next couple days i'll definitely take this off road to show you guys how this thing runs how it handles and some of the durability of it so as always like subscribe and stay tuned for more videos y'all it is cold out here